Ghost crabs are motile, traveling up to 300 meters per night. They emerge from their burrows after dusk to forage and retreat before dawn. They are one of the largest invertebrates on beaches and are abundant and widespread in tropical sandy beaches. This experiment was conducted on a barrier island in eastern Australia. Ghost crabs were used as early warning signals for wider ecological impacts. Crab movements were compared on a public beach and on a vehicle-free beach. The public beach is 34 kilometers long and is visited by up to 500 cars per day, while the vehicle-free beach is only 600 meters long. Nocturnal movements of ghost crabs on the beach surface were measured during a spool and line tracking technique. The free end of the thread was tied to a marker flag set at the base of the dunes. Gender, carapace width and length were recorded. This method involves fixing a bobbin of fine thread to a crab, which unravels as the animal moves, and tracking the thread after a specified period of time. Crabs were tracked over four consecutive days per month between October and December 2009. Each night, two to seven individuals were captured around the time of high tide after dusk. The addition of the bobbin did not affect their mobility. Thomas and Serena measured the total length of the crab's trail the number of turning points along the trail, the length between turning points, and the total area covered. Several factors were determined to be insignificant, such as gender, body size, beach slope, beach width, weather, and the months. The average trail length of a crab was 27% shorter on the public beach. The average area covered was 55% smaller on the public beach. Crabs did not change the number of turning points along their trails in response to vehicle disturbance. The lengths of the segments were 27% shorter on the public beach. Crab densities were halved in the public beach. However, Crab densities did not influence the movement of ghost crabs, indicated by a lack of significant correlations between burrow density and trail length, or area covered. In conclusion, ghost crab movement patterns are significantly affected by vehicle traffic.